Okay, so today you're doing an assignment in class, the alligator fun worksheet. Okay, you should all have that in front of you. That is your in class assignment. You will start it and finish it in math class today. Um, and then for homework tonight, and it's kind of like our weekly worksheet for the span of the next two weeks, is the one that has the puzzle pieces. Okay, so puzzle pieces is our weekly worksheet. But at the top of this one, at the top of this one, let me pull it up on the board very quickly. So at the top of the one that says puzzle pieces, if you don't have it, go grab it off of Sophia's desk up there. There's four papers that you need. Maybe the board's working a little slow this morning. Let me just search for it. What does it say at the top of it? Just puzzle pieces. I think that's the work page for it, but. Okay, so at the top of the one that says puzzle pieces, just write Monday. So at the, and again, this is the work page. You can do it on the actual puzzle pe pieces page, right? Monday, one through four. Tuesday, five through eight. You're writing this at the top of the one that says puzzle pieces, and there's lot, there's 16 boxes with lots of problems on it. And I told you, this piece of paper is gonna be your weekly worksheet over the next two weeks. Will we have it done by Tuesday? No, how many boxes will we have completed by Tuesday? Eight, okay? We're gonna start with box one. I'm gonna help you kind of see what the expectation is because it's kind of a weird worksheet that you have not seen before. Um, it's all on decimal operations. If you forgot your decimal operations, what did I do at the top of the work page for you? Yeah, so have your work page that I have up here on the board, which yours has the problems filled in, in my handwriting, and your puzzle piece paper side by side on your desk, okay? If you forgot how to multiply decimals, read through up here at the top, it says to multiply, you ignore the decimal points, multiply normal, count the decimal places in the problem, and then make the answer match. We're gonna do part of box one together. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. On your work page, it says each box on the worksheet has two problems. Work out both problems, write your answer under the problem on the worksheet. This will help you with the puzzle later on. Use the examples above if you have forgotten some of the rules. Ask, ask for help if needed. So I'm gonna draw box one up here. You don't have to draw this obviously because you have it in front of you. So box one on the worksheet has a giant one in the middle. Reese, what's at the top of box one? On the puzzle pieces. What's at the top? Okay, so 2.8 times 2.8. What's on the right side over here? Um, 16.72. What's at the bottom? 12 minus 5.99. Okay, and what's on the left side? 7.68. 7.68, okay. So for homework tonight, you will complete that top row of those boxes, one, two, three, and four. In box one, how many math problems are there, Maya? Two. You will work both of them from boxes one, two, three, and four. So how many total problems will you have for your weekly worksheet tonight? 
eight, okay? And we're gonna do one together. It doesn't matter, notice I have two number ones, two number twos, it doesn't matter which problem is in which box. Okay, Parker, which one do you want us to do together? The multiplication or the subtraction? Multiplication. multiplication. So in box one, everybody write 2.8 times 2.8. If you forgot, go back and look at the rule. It says to multiply decimals, ignore the decimal point. So Max, what math problem do I need to solve here? Yeah, I have to do 28 times 28. If you want to use algorithm, you can use algorithm. Could you use lattice? Could we use lattice if we wanted to? Yes. Okay. What is 8 times 8? Anybody? 64. So I put a 4. Regroup. 8 times 2 plus 6 22 good job now what do I have to do next that some people forget and it messes them up every single time Lori okay why do I have to add a zero yeah because I'm multiplying everything by this 2, but it, the value of it is actually 20. It's a 2 in the tens place. So 2 times 8, Reese? 16. 16. Change colors again. So 6. Regroup my 1. 2 times 2 plus 1, Brady. 2 times 2 plus 1. 5, okay. Then we add... Four, eight, seven. Is my answer 784? No. Jude, how do I decide where to put my decimal point? I agree with part of that. I count up something, but not the zeros. Finley? The decimal places. I count up the decimal places in the problem. One, two, and make my answer match. So 7.84. Now, the only other thing you will have to do is once you get that answer, underneath that problem on the actual worksheet with the problems, write the answer under it. Okay, so tomorrow when you come in, there's eight problems on that top row. They should all have an answer underneath of them. Your work should be on the work page. Does that make sense? Okay, we're kind of taking this one step at a time because if I told you the whole assignment, it would get super confusing. So we're just doing four problems a day. Um, Bryce. Do we do like one problem? No, so you're going to solve both of them. So you're, everybody's next problem, go ahead and write this one at the top, will be that 12 minus 5.91. And then there should be two on box two, two on box three, two on box four. Does that make sense? Okay, everybody clear on the weekly worksheet? Yes. Parker, do you have a question? Why does it look like it's 16.17? We'll talk about that once we have the other stuff done. Okay? Yeah, there's extra numbers. So the, the ones that are just numbers don't mean anything to you right now. You're just looking for the math problems. And we have to go to the boxes. No, not today. You won't do that till next week. That's like once we have all of the problems work, then we will start cutting them out. Okay, so set your puzzle pieces and your work page aside. You also have the decimal riddle from last week. If you forgot how to do some of the problems, that should be helpful. Um, I passed back several worksheets on area. And what is your in-class assignment on today? Area, okay, it is on area. So if you need a refresher, look back at the previous worksheets that are already graded so you know how to do it. Um, you should have a piece of loose leaf on your desk. So pull your loose leaf to the top. And just title it, Alligator Fun Worksheet. If we are doing area, what steps do you think you're going to have to take, Brant? That's, that's a formula. Harper, what steps? Anytime we're working with geometry and area, we have 
three steps. What do we always put down first, Dominic? Nope, that's your dividing fractions. Kendall? You write down your formula. So on our loose leaf, we're going to write one rewrite formula. The formulas you will be using are at the top of the worksheet. Okay, it's under the alligator face. It says area of a triangle is one half base times height. Area of a parallelogram is base times height. You could also use base times height divided by two for triangle. Okay, what do we do after we rewrite the formula? S substitute. Substitute in what we know. And then we do what? Solve. Rewrite, substitute, solve. And if you look, that worksheet is all whole numbers. Does that mean you will always get a whole number answer? No, because no, if you divide an odd number by two, you'll get a decimal answer. So your in-class assignment is to get this alligator fun sheet completed. Notice, are they numbered? No, no they are lettered. So just so we're consistent, everybody start with letter O. Okay, so you will do O. Instead of numbering it, we're going to letter our problems. Which problem do you think I want you to do next? A. A, and then we'll go ahead and do that little L underneath, because then we'll have three rows across. So we'll do A, or sorry, O, A, L. And you don't have to number yet. Which ones are we going to do next? I'll leave this up so you don't have to number ahead. because T, R, L. Notice there's two L's, which is fine. And again, you don't have to number right now because you don't know how much space you'll need. I'm just putting these up here so we're all consistent. And then I-G-I. I-G-I. When you finish these nine problems, I want you to staple your work page behind the worksheet and turn it into the tray. And then if you want, you can start working on your weekly worksheet problems. Okay? You don't have to write that red stuff. Any questions on what you are to be doing? No. Bryce. What is this colorblind that you need to the part? Don't worry about the riddle part. I'm not too worried about that. So we just have to finish all the problems? I'm worried about you solving the problems. Yep. Okay. Nope, you don't have to do the riddle at the bottom. I don't care. Okay, so you guys have the rest. You have 30 minutes to work on that. Okay, should be plenty of time to at least get the alligator fun worksheet completed.